Oh, for fuck's sake. What a fucking load of bullshit. So, you want to know how to become super OP early game as a strength build? First of all, start a new game, name your character, pick a bandit, and the gift of get good. Grab the key and make your way around to Oscar. Kill the bull soul and claim his juice. Kill the fat bastard and summon the caca of travel. Crash land, fire link, and grab the items around the area. Mainly, we want the souls and homeward burners. So, once you've grabbed everything, we're going to head down to the Valley of Drakes and pick up the red tear stone ring for the more advanced play. The easy way to get the ring is to grab the bonfire first. Then head back, then run for your fucking dear life, grab the ring and homeward burner it out of that death trap. Once you're back at the bonfire, you can kill the Black Knight for an extra 1k souls, or you can skip him and head towards the Forest Hunter continent. There's also a few things you can pick up along the way. So we can pick up the Grass Crest Shield, which increases stamina regen, a blue scary boy, you can also grab the arm set and bow here, and another soul. Skillfully panic your way around the Hydra and head up the ladder. Rejoice at the top and make your way around and grab another soul. Climb up the ladder you just passed and head towards the bright flower. Once in the clearing, head slightly right and run like a madman possessed and weave your way to victory. Once you make it to the cat, quickly talk to her to have the NPCs fuck off. Join the cove and talk to Shiva. Once you exhaust his dialogue, pass the thick cat and grab your new armor set. Head towards Sif's boss door and make a right to find another soul. Run back to Sif's door and enter the arena to claim the Hornet Ring. Make sure to keep your distance from the center as it will trigger the boss fight. Burn it out of there, now we can head up to Dark Root Garden. Kill the trees in this area and hope for some purple boys. Grab any souls in the area and then head through the fog door. Make a hard right and destroy the tree blocking your way. A land stingray will be in the area. Kill it and they have a chance to drop green boys, which are a nice addition to your strength build. Head down the path and reach the far left side. All stingrays will appear and there will be a soul there as well. On the right side is a path leading to another stone rubble. Run past him and grab the wolf ring and jump to safety.
Now, let's head back to Undead Parish. Run past the Titanite Demon and go say hi to Andre. Light the bonfire and go kill the big scary boy for a Titanite Shard. Grab the Firekeeper's Soul while you're here and activate the shortcut to Firelink. Now let's go to Blight Town and get our weapon. For the elevator, you can give your Firekeeper Soul to Anastasia to boost your Estus. On the way down, go rabble so as you come across and run past most of the enemies until you reach the safety cave. The sandwich maker should then pop up once you're human. I want the thick lady to the shadow realm. Spaghetti swaggo realm, say hello to the shadow realm. <laughs> now you have an extra AK souls, so let's grab our new weapon from Shiva. Shiva has a great amount of weapons that are OP and good for every type of build. But for us, we want to buy the Demon Great Machete. You can also buy from Shiva the Demon's Great Axe. It has the best damage output in the game. But it requires more strength to one hand and the moveset is icky. Now that we have a weapon, let's grab the souls in the area and also the large tits. back to the bonfire and pop all the souls that we have and level up our strength to 28 so we can two hand and our endurance to 20. For the next step I recommend new players to head back up to Andre Parish and back to Andre to upgrade their weapon before attempting this. More experienced players you should be fine to go ahead. So now we want to grab the Pyro Spell Power Within and a few souls on the way there. Run up to this area with the pots and wait for the dart guy to fall down. Granting us a moss that we can use on ourselves. Line up the ladders and through the fog door. Wait for the thing to come down and if you're quick enough you can get a backstab. Otherwise just slap him off the edge. Climb up and slap some more booty. Kill any enemies and grab the souls in the area. Make your way up the long ladder and into the secret cave to get behind a large hentai tentacle monster. And shove something up its ass. Grab your new power spell and home it back to the cave. If you haven't already, let's head to Andre. Get enough souls to buy a 9 Titanite shards and make our demon machete plus 5. While you're in Undead Parish, grab some keys in the area. Want to stop that wall trick out? And the other is to open the door near the bridge with the drake on it. Now let's head back down to Darkrig Basin and prepare yourself to face the rock. Hit 
kill him and get Havel's ring. We can now fast roll with being naked. We can also mid roll with some more armor. While we are here, we are going to head up the stairs, smack some moony butt, head up more stairs, and surprise the crystal lizard with a machete to the face. Next, head through the fog door and kill the skellies. Activate the bridge troll. Spring back to the ladder and finish him with a satisfying hook. Before going any further, let's head back to Undead Burg and buy some fire bombs from the Undead Merchant. You can also grab the key here from him as well to free the sorcerer. Head back to the Taurus Demon Bridge and then we can go and see the Drake. Go through the door with the basement key you picked up earlier. Avoid the dogs. <laughs> We can now clear the area and then firebomb cheese strat the Capra Demon and get access to the depths. Continue down and grab the soul. And up the stairs to unlock the shortcut back to Firelink, because we're probably going to need this. Head back and you can buy a bunch of charcoal pine resins from the merchant here as well. Now let's get the upgrade ember from the depths. Throw the fire hollows to you and fuck. <laughs> Rage your way through and grab the upgrading material. While we are down here, let's free Lord of the Flames so we can get our own power of flame. So we can use power within. Once that's done, make your way back to Firelink and the Pyro dude should be there. Talk to him and gain your Pyro Flame. Level up your achievement to 10 and chuck on power within. We can also upgrade our weapon to plus 7 now with Andre. If you want to get to plus 10, you can farm the slugs in Bly Town to get more large titties. Now, let's get an awesome ring, commonly known as the Fap Ring. You can either kill Lordrick here, or you can cheese him after the gargoyles where he is found down near Firelink. Now, we can equip the arm set we picked up and get one last item to complete our build. Alright, so let's head down to the catacombs. the Satan respawner and push the lever and rest at the bonfire. They head out and we want to rage through and kill the other Satan spawner. You can now go through the area and pick up anything you might want. Once you have, head to this location and we want to roll down and try not to die. down here and summon Leroy so he can help us distract the burn wheels. I'm like a madman to the fog door and Leroy should follow you in. Make some pre-boss buffs and head down to defeat Pinwheel.
once he's dead, rejoice! And find out what mask he has dropped. Well, the masks are useful in their own way, and we happen to get the child mask that gives us more regen. Praise the sun, we are finished. And you now have a super OP foundation to increase your strength build towards end game. I hope you guys have enjoyed this guide. It took a lot of effort and it would greatly help if you could leave a like and subscribe down below. Thanks so much to everyone that has supported me. I especially want to thank Demon Shadow Plays, Jerry, Matt, Tina, Sisko, Yus, Swyhander Gaming, and Tuna Jelly. Thank you guys so much for the support and becoming a little bitch. <laughs> you guys are the best. Thank you very much. And remember to hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next vid. Bye!